This had water spilled through the keyboard. Uh, Apple told them it'll be $1,500 and you need to replace the whole computer. Um, I did already take apart the machine. It looked very clean on the inside. Um, as you can see from my images, this is what our actual problem was. So I, I saw no signs of corrosion really inside the chassis other than on the angle sensor. The back side of the board looks totally clean. Um, top side of the board looks totally clean. Everything's okay. It runs power okay. Uh, you would start it up and you wouldn't be able to do any inputs on the uh, keyboard or the trackpad. Um, now initially, I got it back together. I just plugged in an external keyboard and mouse. Oh, the Apple Store also just wiped their computer without telling them, so that's fun. Uh, they did have a backup, so not an issue, but um, if you bring your stuff to the Apple Store, try to try to make sure you have a backup first if possible. They do like to wipe computers. Um, so this is our, our real issue here. And ideally what I can do is use this thing here to recalibrate it. This device here is an M3 16 inch MacBook Pro. And on uh, Notebook Nerds is a company in Germany that makes this tool, the Nerd Tool 1 for the angle sensor calibration. This model is not supported. Um, looking at, a, I, I have a spare uh, you know, 824, uh, 85, 82779. The M1 or M2 16 inch have the same angle sensor flex. The actual um, part number on these two is different on the flex cable. We actually can't really, well here I can just kind of, so here's our, uh, or this guy, right? So this is our, our bad flex from this. It's an 821-04586-A. And then this is one from an M1 or M2, which is, you know, something different, basically. Um, looking at the two flexes, we can see kind of in these um, images, um, they look basically the same. The only thing I could tell is that the chip number was different. This one says like LXN, I think I have, uh, here we have our, this is our chip from our M1, M2. So this is LXN342A. Okay, we have people come in and I don't like to share people's conversations with the whole world with all the many views I'll get for this extremely niche repair video. Um, so what was I even talking about? Chips have different names was really the only difference I saw. So this LXR1358 is the chip that is on the M3 Flex. Otherwise the parts look the same. We have like a resistor, maybe a filter. Could be a little inductor, and I think a couple capacitors. Or not even, it just kind of looks like a bunch of filtering caps. Maybe this is an inductor. Doesn't really matter. Um, these look the same. And all of the traces that we can kind of follow here look the same on the two flex cables. Um, so my pickle is the calibrator does not work. I did try just putting in... Um, this flex and the calibration um, fails basically it doesn't work um, so what I'm going to do is solder a 44 gauge wire to the very small amount of trace that is still left on this and kind of make a little coil of wire on here is what I'm hoping to accomplish and Fingers crossed that this chip isn't damaged internally, or else I think we are shit out of luck, as one might say. Um, in that case, though, I mean, really, that this person could just, we could just unplug the sensor until this tool is updated or, or there's a new version of it or something like that, and we could fix it later. Um, I'm going to get my little tiny wire. You know, I really want some way to hold this chip a little bit better. I'm going to put it in something else. We're really not going to need a lot of wire at all. Uh, I'm just going to cut off like a real small piece there. That's probably even too much. Okay. Trip your mixture on so we don't get the cancer. 
And let's try to tin that pad. I already um, kind of scraped away this stuff with the razor. It was very corroded on this chip. Um, if this chip was fine, what I would reckon we could do is basically just desolder it, plop it on the new flex, and it would work. Uh, the chip is not okay, as we can see, but we're going to try to make it work through our delicate touch. I'll try to get this in focus. Okay. Really, my tape holding here is not really working as intended. It's okay. Okay, that is on there. Um, now what I think I will do, I don't think I'm gonna cover this up. I am just going to now try to solder this and I think this will kind of fall into place on there and then we'll cut off the excess from the flex cable itself. Um, Okay, so we have a new flex. I'll double check my reference image. Um, yeah, lower left. Okay. Let me get some flux on the cable here and let me also Flatten out those pads and then let me We're basically hoping is that the wire creates an extra sort of gap. I'm basically pushing this QFN chip down and that will make a connection for the burned off trace. That still had a little bit of wire. Okay, I'm look at this from a few different angles. Mm, I think it's a little bit too far up. And it's more flex. Okay, let's see if this is sensing angles now. I 
the observant viewer might see that I have my applause button out. Oh, what a dream. We have confirmed that the flex on the 16 inch M3 Pro it has a different part number, but the it's just the chip that's different. So um, if you do get one of these with a you know bad angle sensor, you can't calibrate a, a new one from the um, you know M1, M2. Uh, they just don't work on the on the nerd tool yet until they you know send out an update for it or whatever. Um, but you can desolder the chip and put it on a flex for an M1 or M2. So hooray, we have tested this now and it does work. Um, and hopefully it will continue to work and this person does not need to spend $1,500 at the Apple store and replace their whole computer because it, it just had a sensor and we needed to do a, a little bit of a tricky soldering job, but nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, so uh, don't, don't take your stuff to the Apple store. Uh, they are actively going to try to screw you. Um, send it to me instead. We'll do a good job and I won't mess with you. Um, everyone have a wonderful day. Uh, I hope uh, this helps someone fix an M3 16-inch MacBook Pro at some point. That's all I can all I can wish for.